It's great to be here tonight. We, we just launched the Telstra Mobile Wi-Fi um, just six weeks ago. But we've got a long history with Telstra uh, since they launched next year. And actually we go back to the CDMA days and the Yagic days back in 2004, probably earlier, when we were supplying air cards uh, for serial wireless trademark devices. But uh, we were first in the world together with Telstra and Ericsson with a 21 megabit uh, network. And we also launched the very first 42 megabits device on the Telstra's first in the world 42DC network, uh, only a few short years ago. And with the launch of the uh, USB 4G back in September, October, that was Australia's first 4G LTE device. And now we've launched our, our second device, new mobile Wi-Fi, replacing the uh, 753 or the ultimate device. So I've got a detailed pack which we'll go through in the breakout session, but a little bit about Sierra Wireless. We don't build networks, we don't build smartphones, we only do wireless data devices. And while you know us for air cards, any of you, of you who came here in a cab tonight may have been in a cab with cab charge and there's a payment terminal. Invariably, if it's in Geneco or Verifon, it's got a Sierra Wireless data device in it. If there's a Coke machine out there or another device, uh, device such as uh, Nespresso commercial devices. We want to deal with Nespresso worldwide about putting wireless data in all the Nespresso machines. So we just do wireless data and we do it well. So I just want to talk to you about the mobile Wi Fi device. And this segment took off for us in the US probably about three, three and a half years ago. And it was really created because Apple did the exclusively with AT&T. So Verizon, T-Mobile and Sprint had to counter the exclusively with iPhone. So the mobile Wi-Fi segment started. Now in the US, the mobile Wi-Fi is outselling the USB. So while it's relatively new here to you, uh, be prepared that that market segment will grow. So why the mobile Wi-Fi segment with more devices? People want to connect to more places. They expect Wi-Fi everywhere. And it's not everywhere, so portable and mobile Wi-Fi is growing. So customers, consume, uh, customers and consumers, small business, and uh, even in large enterprise for redundancy and uh, backup support. So I won't go into too much detail on the products here now. I'll leave that to the breakout session. The questions I think asking customers when they come in today, you know. Why buy? What do you need to connect on the go? Where do you need to connect? Is it the home? Is it the office? Is it the holiday home? Uh, is it on the train? And is it just a single device? So that the USB may do? Or is it a multiple devices? And the thing we found in the US from our market research, it's not about teams of people connecting, maybe five people, it's our single users connecting multiple devices. So what we get will be people will share with Teams, but it won't cannibalise multiple device sales because people want to connect their gaming, their tablet, uh, and maybe a slower PC. Uh, so a quick comparison um, is why choose USB or what mobile Wi-Fi uh, connects up to five users simultaneously as opposed to an individual connection. Uh, connects everything Wi-Fi. But I think the single most important thing for people in the sales channel is there's no software to install. You know, that 1% of customers who got out there had a compatibility problem or couldn't load the software, had a, a Mac version that wasn't yet supported, it's just Wi-Fi. It supports B, G and N, a lot of devices don't support Wi-Fi N. Out of the box, put the SIM card in, in 90 seconds, you've established a wide secure Wi-Fi connection. It is easy to sell and easy to support. In fact, our customers around the world, our carrier customers tell us that there's less calls to back of, back of house support on mobile Wi-Fi than we get to USB. So we are launching a range of accessories to support the mobile Wi-Fi. Um, the same MIMO antenna as support the USB. An extended battery, uh, which gives you uh, the of your usage time in the field and a charging brake. What I want to talk to you about the scenarios that uh, the salespeople that you come across. I think professional consultants, people travelling, 
Uh, and uh, as Will probably uh, relay, when he was a contractor and going to another business, you don't quite often get um, access to the land, or if you do, it takes the IT department half a day to work out. Now business people put the device in there, they're up and going, and they do their presentation, they're in and out, and uh, independence of uh, the IT or the customer. We stayed in a hotel uh, last night at this presentation at an hotel in Sydney, and what do you think the going rate for a, a Wi-Fi connection is in a hotel room? $24, $25, maybe $30, $28 per night. So if you're business traveling, you've only got to be on the road two nights per month, and uh, this is uh, a well and truly pays for itself. So certainly, um, small businesses uh, doing a lot of traveling, uh, and home businesses. The benefits of Wi-Fi, the one connections are supporting uh, multiple devices. And of course, with LTE, the uplink speed being so great, and providing a better performance than uh, ADSL, and also to customers where ADSL is not available. Uh, commuters, people on the road, and also it's a dedicated device. So at the end of the day, it's still going to be working. You know, all the LTE smartphones can also do it, uh, but this is dedicated, so you're going to get a better battery if you like. And also the device supports external uh, my own uh, Also, Thank you very much. We'll see you in the breakout session today. We'll have a slight change to the agenda for the night as well. I'd like to welcome uh, Rob Savioni uh, from HT.